I am so excited to share today's episode because there is one place that I love to find my secondhand treasures when I am thrifting in London, and that is at the car boot sales. We are here in London hosting a group trip with new friends and fellow vintage lovers. In the first episodes of this series, we went to Old Spitalfields Market, Covent Gardens, Camden Passage, and the world-famous Portobello Road Market. But today is a Sunday in London, and that means it's all about the car boot sales. If you are from the UK or you ever go visit, you have to add car boot sales to your list. They're similar to flea markets, but it's so much less curated. And that means that the pricing is going to be lower. There's more room for negotiations and you absolutely never know what you're going to find. It's a true treasure hunt. got to pay for the extra early bird tickets because you get to come in while they're setting up and they are literally just starting to pull vintage out of the boots right now and for everyone who's never been to a car boot sale or heard of a car boot sale it is called a car boot sale because they pop the boot of their car that's what they call the trunk and they pull out all of the stuff so they're just now getting unloaded and we're here at capital car boot sale and we're gonna find some good stuff Oh, I like that pendant. That's pretty. It's made out of an old coin. Look at these little faces. I saw some of those, but what they are were they? in um, Lucite. At, um, that woman and Jeffrey bought a lot of them. Oh, he did. Yeah. Fascinating. It's a solid sterling silver chain. I like it because it's got large loops. It's very pretty. Viking glass, swung mid-century Viking glass. I don't think I'm gonna bring it home because the value is not probably there, but it's still pretty cool to see that stuff here. How much is the rug? Uh, 30. 30? 30. 30 pounds. I will take it. Thank you. This is interesting. It's gravel art. I've not seen that one before. They're really beautiful. Hi, good morning. Good morning. That one's really neat too. Oh, these are nice, yeah. Who are these by? Do you know? Yeah, they're on the bottom. Okay, there we I go. I'm gonna put them on. I've got Jordan loads Craft of them. Stoneware, yeah. made yeah. in England. And I thought the thought, shape on that one is yeah. gorgeous. It looks very Art Deco. Yeah, um, I couldn't find it on um, eBay, and I'm not. I can't be watching eBay these because when you put them through the post, you never know what's gonna happen. They're gonna break. Yep. Do you set up at this one regularly? No. No. I don't do it anymore. You move around. Only when I fancy. That's kind of. Have you got a lot more time? Hair hair. I think it's fake. I think it's a faux stone, like a plastic, but it's kind of fun. Oh, that's cool. A little clamper bracelet. Opens up. Oh, there's a big box here as well. Hold on. Here you are. Oh, you've got another one? Bring it out. There you are. Oh, I like the box itself. Yeah, I That's pretty. It's on the box. And be careful because there's pins. I think it used to be a sewing box. Yeah. A really old sewing box. Oh, these dolls make me ill. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. 
Those are creepy. Oh, look at the uh, mask. That's yeah. interesting. I kind of like yeah. that. Or is that the devil? Is that the devil? Uh, it's slightly devilish. That does look kind of devilish. Is he the bit, devil? He looks a bit devilish, <laughs> doesn't he? There's more jewelry in here. I mean, I can this is stuff. Vote for women. Or votes for women. Nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it. What's in this one? In? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's a bad mystery. Ooh, I like this one. That looks pretty. How much for these two rings? Um, they're three pounds each. We can have the two for five. Two for five? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. I'll take them both. This teapot, this is fascinating. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, you've got some beautiful stuff. Can you see this? This Pratus is 90 years old, it's not for sale. And that has the mark, it's all marked wow. in gold. So wow. they roll it in gold, not spray it. Pratus, when they spray it on, it's rubbish, it always comes off. are fun. I don't know if they're old, but they're new. Cool designs, so. It's just mismatch, you know? I think that would be beautiful. I love mixed matched mm -hmm. silverware. Oh, but do you, by the way, do you know that I say mixed matched? Everybody says mismatched, but I say mixed, mixed matched. Match. That's lower language. I like that. Do you say kitty corner or caddy corner? I would say caddy corner. Caddy corner. Yeah, yeah do you so say kitty corner? No, I say caddy corner. I say all kinds of weird things, yeah. but I think it's fun. I like having a little bit of my own language. You, you have to. That's what makes people <laughs> you know what? themselves. It is. And, oh, this is a little egg holder. In case you need your morning egg. Oh, my goodness. This whole box is full of jewelry. What would I use this for? Oh, is that an oyster? Yeah. No, there's there's something I've seen where it's like you, you want to use one of them to like deshell it, like okay. you scoop it out okay. maybe. That's sterling. There's a silver plated, I can't tell. Look at this set. I love the holders and I'm thinking I could maybe put a different cup in it and I could get the wood home. How much is this set? 25. 25? Yeah. yeah, they're pretty neat. I, they're lovely. We have to pack in luggage though. I'm worried the glass would break. Those are nice though. What does this have painted on it? Oh, a lighthouse. Wasn't sure what that was going to be. This is heavy. Ooh. That's nice. Is it stamped? No. Nothing? That's neat. Sign Santa Clara, 1970. Santa Clara? Yeah. yeah, Santa Clara. How much is this one? Five. Five pound? I'll go ahead and get that, thank you. They've set up a bunch more since we first walked down here. So we're gonna check out the vendors up the hill, see what we've got. I see some pottery I want. Did you see those? These are so gorgeous. 
20 pounds for both of these West German pottery vases. And Nancy and I are each going to have one. We're going to be twins. I don't care which one. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Either one. Oh, hold them till I Look, we're twins. One. And I've got bags. There's a lady doing something over here. It's quite the maneuver. It's made out of resin. She's really pretty, though. Well, look at this platter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Art Nouveau. That's pretty. How much is this? Ten. Ten pounds. That sounds like a very fair deal. Check it out. This is from Medford, Oregon. How funny that there's something from Oregon over here in London. I mean, it's not that rare, but Medford. I mean, that's kind of random. You'd expect like New York or California. Is that from Portugal, maybe, or Spain? Oh, was it from that boat? Unsigned. Sorry, William, just that. It could be Polish too. Is that a wooden box? Yeah, it's pretty. Isn't it? Three How much quid? for that? Three quid. Three quid? Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Thank you. Nice Definitely worth the early buy. We've been shopping the whole time they've been setting up their cars, and we are about 10 minutes away from the general public getting let in. And I feel like we've had a solid two hours of picking here. So highly recommend paying the extra little bit of money for the early bird buy. It's definitely worth it. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. And you can easily make your your website stand out and be beautiful by using one of their many, many customizable templates. I have been selling my vintage finds on my Squarespace website for over nine years now. And with this new year, I'm thinking it's time for a website refresh. So I've been having fun going through all of their templates and getting ideas, trying to decide what I want to do with my website for this new year. Not only will your website be beautiful and easy to build out the way you want it, it will help you engage with your audience sell anything you want, your products, your content, what you create, and even your time. Squarespace gives you all of the tools you need to create a beautifully designed space. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Next up, we have made our way across London and we are headed to the Battersea Carb boot sale. This boot sale is every Sunday from 1.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. They offer early bird buy from 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. And then general entry begins at 1.30 which is perfect because you can hit Capital Car Boot Sale first thing in the morning and have plenty of time to shop that market then make your way across town to the Battersea Car Boot Sale. The one you picked up, it's people are polishing it up. Because of the one side. Yeah. It's hard because it looks beautiful because of the old patina. Yeah, yeah. That's a hard one to decide what to yeah, do. Yeah, this is it. Oh, those are big. Look at those yeah. tongs. I like that it has the triple crosses yeah. and it's signed and, and numbered so five pounds yeah okay I'll take that Egypt in about 1959 1959 from Egypt I think they're still making them yeah <laughs> they probably do they've probably been making them for thousands of years yeah no it's beautiful for two pounds yeah, yeah. okay I'll take that as well It's 
beautiful. Yeah. How much is this? Uh, 15. 15. Could you do 10? 12. Repeat customer. 10? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Timmy got this beautiful, is it a sugar bowl, right? And then you put the scoop in? Oh, you, for loose leaf tea. <gasps> for loose leaf tea. Real stone? Or is it like a plastic? Yeah. I love the purse. <laughs> In my opinion, a trip to London is not complete unless you see it from the river at night. Riverboat cruises are one of my favorite ways to see a city, and seeing London from the River Thames is magical at night. It is so amazing to see all of the historical sites lit up. This was the perfect way to spend our evening together as a group after thrifting our hearts out all day. Thank you so much for joining our car boot sale shopping in London today. Next up in this UK series, we are headed to the Cotswolds. Here's a sneak peek at what's coming up in the next episode. Welcome to the Cotswolds. Stay tuned for the upcoming episode in the Cotswolds and the video on my full haul from this European adventure, where I'm going to show you all of my vintage finds, talk a little bit more in depth about them and their values, and give you my top tips for how to buy vintage when traveling abroad and get it home safely.